Conventions in the tabular list, ICD-10-CM. The conventions that we will go over today are the includes notes, excludes notes, and with code also and sequencing instructions. Where are conventions located? Coding conventions are found in the guidelines at the beginning of the ICD-10-CM code books. Some publishers include chapter-specific guidelines at the beginning of each chapter. The official guidelines for coding and reporting can also be found on the CMS website at www.cms.gov. And you can also do a Google search for the official coding guidelines. Includes notes. Includes notes appear directly underneath a three-character category to further define and give examples of the content that is included in the category. So for example, the includes notes lists a number of conditions that are included in the category of K72. This means that the conditions listed in the includes notes may be coded with code starting with K72. Inclusion terms. Inclusion terms are also common throughout the tabular list. These work similar to includes notes, but instead pertain to specific codes rather than a category of codes. Inclusion terms may be synonyms for the condition or a list of various conditions assigned to a specific code. So for example, we have K75.0 abscess of liver, and you can see all of the inclusion terms. Um, this is not an exhaustive list, but you can see all of these terms that indicate that these conditions still fit within the code description. So it is still acceptable to assign this code. Excludes notes. Excludes notes are the opposite of includes notes. They are identifying conditions that are similar but independent of each other. The ICD-10-CM code set has two types of excludes notes. There's excludes one and excludes two. The excludes one note is a pure excludes note. And what I mean by this is that the condition listed under the excludes one note and the coded condition are mutually exclusive and should never be coded together. So for example, if a patient has a congenital form, they can't have an acquired form of a condition. Those two could never be coded together. So looking at this example, you can see that I have highlighted the excludes one and cholangitis without liver abscess, K83.09, is listed as something that a patient could never have along with an abscess of the liver. So in this case, the coder would have to select either K75.0 or K83.09, but they cannot have both. Excludes two. An excludes two note identifies conditions that are not included here. This means that if the patient had the condition located under the excludes two note, then they should code for that condition elsewhere. If the patient has both the condition within the excludes two note, as well as the coded condition, then both of the codes may be reported together as appropriate. So in this example, I have highlighted the excludes two note, and you can see that acute or subacute hepatitis not otherwise specified B17.9 is an option. So for this example, the patient could have both an abscess of the liver and unspecified acute or subacute hepatitis. And if the patient had both of those, that would been, then be reported with K75.0 and B17.9. Something else I do want to mention about excludes one is that there is an important exception to the excludes one note. So coders may code for both conditions if they are unrelated to each other. The reason for this is that sometimes a diagnosis code is a general code for a condition that can manifest in multiple ways. And with code also and sequencing. Sequencing or placing the codes in a particular order is an important part of ICD-10-CM coding. When sequenced correctly, the diagnosis codes should tell the story of why the patient presented for treatment. Typically, when a patient has more than one healthcare condition, the diagnosis code primarily responsible for the services provided is sequenced before any others. If the patient has two or more diagnoses, 
each requiring the same amount of treatment or management, then either of the diagnoses may be sequenced first. However, there are a few conventions in the tabular list and the ICD-10-CM codebook that instruct coders how to sequence certain conditions and whether to include other codes to identify additional healthcare conditions. And these are and with code also and sequencing instructions. When referencing the tabular list to verify code selection, coders will encounter the term and, which should be interpreted to mean and or or. So for example, code A18.0, tuberculosis of bones and joints. This can include tuberculosis of the bones, tuberculosis of the joints, or tuberculosis of the bones and joints. And this is indicated by the and in the code description. When the term with appears in the tabular, it should be interpreted to mean associated with or due to. The term presumes a causal relationship between the two conditions linked by the word with. So for example, K71.1, toxic liver disease with hepatic necrosis. Um, this also codes for hepatic failure due to drugs as indicated by the word with. The code also note informs the coder that two codes may be necessary to fully describe a condition. So for example, H35.0, background retinopathy and retinal vascular changes, includes the note code also. And this means any associated hypertension, which is I-10, would also be reported. With the code also note for the H35.0, this note does not include sequencing instructions regarding which code should be listed first. So the coder is going to have to determine the sequencing of the two codes. And to determine the codes that should be sequenced first, the coder must read through the provider's documentation of the healthcare encounter and identify the primary diagnosis. Sequencing. Sequencing instructions are listed in the tabular list of the ICD-10 CM codebook in the same way that code also notes are included. They are located beneath a section, category, or subsection and give coders more information on how to sequence two or more codes. We have the first example, which is a code first. This instruction lists conditions that should be coded before the code identified. So for example, J18, pneumonia and specified organism, that instructs the coder to code first associated influenza, if applicable. If the patient had both pneumonia due to unspecified organism and influenza, then the coder would code for each condition with the influenza code first and the pneumonia code second. So that would be something like J11.00 for the influenza and then J18.9 for the pneumonia. The second one listed is use additional code. And this instruction lists conditions that should be coded after the identified code. So for example, there is a use additional code note under D57, sickle cell disorders, instructing the coder to use additional code for any associated fever. If the patient had both a sickle cell disorder coded under category D57 and an associated fever, then the fever would be coded in addition to the sickle cell disorder and it would be D57 for the sickle cell disorder, followed by R50.81 for the fever. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at smc.academy.llc at gmail.com. And make sure to check out my website to learn more about the CPC program that I am offering.